Hello there minions, Wheezy here again. Today, I'm going to once again show you how to save time unlocking weapon in Cold War, this time the nail gun. And it's not going to be in zombies. What? Let's go take a look. All right, so of course the first thing we're going to look at here is the challenges you need to complete in order to unlock the nail gun. We're going to start in multiplayer here, and it is a special weapon, not a pistol, but it is get five eliminations with special weapons in 15 different completed matches. Now, this is pretty standard for Cold War challenges. Um, what is different this time, and the reason I will suggest multiplayer over zombies as we go back to look at the zombies challenge, is that they have made the zombies one more irritating by requiring completed games as well. So now in Zombies, it is 25 kills with special weapons in 12 different completed regions. So you gotta go to Outbreak, get 25 kills with a special, and complete the mission for that region, and then either exfil or move to the next region 12 times. So basically Zombies isn't any faster than multiplayer now. So I'm gonna suggest is that you go to Party Games, Sticks and Stones, because in Six and Stones, you use a crossbow and a ballistic knife. Both of those are special weapons. And so every kill you get, essentially, is going to be a special weapon kill. So you're going to get five per no, no times 15 matches. Kid. It's going to take you some time. But I actually found Sticks and Stones to be reasonably entertaining. Because basically, it's free-for-all. Free-for-all, as I have said since the beginning, is the most enjoyable mode uh, of Cold War. And Sticks and Stones is just a free-for-all variation where you have the crossbow, ballistic knife, and a tomahawk, the tomahawk setting people back. So um, this is what I would recommend for doing that. It's going to take you, you know, probably a couple of hours to complete 15 matches. And again, you have to complete the entire match, but you'll get five kills, you know, easily. And after the end, you can check and make sure you're making progress. But should be pretty straightforward to get five kills per match. And you just play out the matches until you unlock the nail gun. So that's really all there is to the concept here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and spend the rest of this time giving you some sticks and stones tips. So the first tip that I want to give you for sticks and stones is try and stick with your crossbow as much as possible. It's got a higher uh, bullet velocity, arrow bolt velocity, than the ballistic knife does. Um, and I just found it to be the most effective weapon to use. And also keep in mind, even though it feels, you know, more like a gun, this is not, despite the shot you're about to see here, choo, really a long range weapon. You want to focus on using the crossbow at close range as much as possible. And yes, you can get trades, <laughs> as we saw here. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a close range weapon. So you want to get close, use headphones, use whatever audio you can to try and locate people with audio because it's a free-for-all. Um, so you can use the same kind of free-for-all tips that I gave you in my how to win it free-for-all video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. You can find it easily on my page. Um, and yeah, you want to get close. Aim down sights when you need to to anticipate people's locations, but this thing at close to medium range is actually an extremely accurate hip fire weapon as well. So um, one thing that you will run into is that you only get six bolts out of the gate. But when you shoot people with it, you can walk over their bodies and pick your bolts back up. So in order to keep using the crossbow, I would recommend that when you kill people, go and walk over their corpses and pick up yeah. your bolts because you will need that ammo. It goes fast, especially as you start putting streaks together. And because you're minions and you're watching Wheezy's War College, oh my God. watching my free for all tips videos, you guys are putting streaks together. I believe in you. You can do it. Um, so here, so yeah, go pick up those bolts, um, use your audio to your advantage. I mean, that's really the key to this. It's basically just a fancy free for all, um, with the crossbow, you know, it's one shot with a slow reload. Make sure you take that little half a heartbeat to get a good shot off so that you get that one hit kill misses cost you a lot. They can definitely cost you your life, but they definitely cost a lot of time. And if you don't kill somebody, it's harder to go and fetch that bolt because it goes and sticks in a wall somewhere. You don't really know where it is. Um, there you can see you have to lead a little bit the crossbow. It's got some travel time. You don't have to lead as much as you think. So so when people are at medium to longer ranges, lead a little bit, but you really don't have to lead all that much for the most part, close to medium range. Just put it on them, pull the trigger. You're going to get that kill. 
Um, the crossbow, or not the crossbow, but the uh, tomahawk does do humiliation in this for, for some gamesmanship. The hitting someone with a tomahawk will set their score back. I don't think that necessarily is something you need to focus on. <laughs> um, in like the original Black Ops and stuff like that, it felt like uh, the humiliations and the setbacks really made a difference. For whatever reason, the way that the score is calculated in this one, it doesn't ever seem to really make a huge difference. But um, yeah, so here I'm going to show you uh, <laughs> my biggest streak that I went on in Sticks and Stones. This is actually pretty pretty nutty. I think I got some, like 16 kills with the crossbow plus like two ballistic knife kills. Um, I actually had a lot of fun playing Sticks and Stones, and in general, like I've said before, if you do want to have fun in Cold War, Free For All is really the only place I can consistently enjoy this game, um, but the problem with that is I don't overly enjoy Free For All as a game mode, but let's just say I am I am just, I'm, I'm ready <laughs> to move past Cold War. I don't think Vanguard, uh, which is presumably what's coming out this year, is going to... Scratch that itch, but Battlefield 2042, I can't wait. Sorry to keep talking about Battlefield. This is this is about unlocking the nail gun. I am going to, after this big streak, I am going to show you how the nail gun works. It's actually a pretty fun little special weapon to use. Uh, it's got a cool little feature that I'm going to tell you about too that I kind of accidentally discovered that actually may be one of the most useful things about it as a secondary weapon uh, if you're playing Cold War objective modes reasonably consistently. Or even probably in Warzone, but that's a teaser. You're going to talk about that in just a minute here. I'm going to let this streak finish out and tell you a little bit more about Sticks and Stones strategy. Uh, yeah, you can see here, just I'm emphasizing a lot of uh, hip fire when possible up close just because that kind of speed matters. The ballistic knife uh, speed, the projectile speed, is so much slower. That's why I say try and stick to the crossbow as much as possible. There you see I ran out of crossbow ammo. So I had to pull the ballistic knife out, managed to get a kill there, but then I just switched back because you never know when you're really going to pick up another crossbow bolt. Um, so <laughs> if you find yourself out of crossbow ammo and you do manage to get a kill or two with the ballistic knife, you might just switch back to your crossbow and check if you can see if you've picked up some more ammo uh, because you do want to prioritize the crossbow. So here I've got my ballistic knife and I'm like, I wonder if I picked up some more ammo. Switch. Yep. Reload. It's just more reliable that way. So here is this draws to an end with my victory. That was... The, the games are a little weird in Sticks and Stones. Sometimes it's a blowout, sometimes it's close. Here uh, is when I unlocked it. So there you can see, Nail Gun. Five eliminations with special weapons in 15 different matches. In the Create a Class, one thing that's interesting about the Nail Gun is in the Gunsmith, it has no attachments. There's nothing you can unlock for this other than camos. <laughs> um, it's just camos and accessories. There are no attachments, there's no sights, there's no magazines. The nail gun is what it is. Uh, it comes with a 15 round magazine and I think you get two magazines <laughs> in multiplayer. Um, so that's, that's really all there is to it, but it's fun to use. So I'm gonna put together some clips of here of me using it here, as well as point out the one interesting thing that I found out about it that I think you guys can appreciate as a good tactical choice in uh, multiplayer and objective modes. The up close, the Kill speed on this is pretty damn good. It's powerful up close. Um, you know, you've only got two, you know, you've only got 30 nails. <laughs> so this isn't going to be something that's really going to put together a ton of streaks unless you're really running scavenger and getting getting some good luck there. Um, but it does have some stopping power. Uh, where it might, I think, have a lot of value to keep in your pocket. If you're like me, you'd probably want to switch to secondaries a lot unless it's like an emergency and you run out of ammo and you just have to like emergency pistol switch. This is a good option for that. Um, obviously with it basically being a pistol um, but it also has one other feature that I'm going to show you here in just a second that would also be useful to keep it in your pocket and pull it out so here I'm coming up behind this guy uh, and I go to take some shots at him and his trophy system intercepts like the first four or five nails so trophy systems treat the nails as projectiles on the nail gun which means if you have a nail gun in your pocket and the enemy has a trophy system you can pull that nail gun out and just full auto fire it near the trophy system and burn up an entire trophy system in like less than two seconds. That's a big deal. It takes three, four, five grenades to burn up a trophy system or you have to get a line of sight to shoot it. But if you've got a nail gun in your pocket, you pull it out, you shoot it past the trophy system, four, five, six shots, which takes just a second and it's gonna burn up that whole trophy system. So I think that's one of the really coolest things about this nail gun. Uh, and if I were playing a lot more Cold War and objective modes, because trophy systems are pretty, 
pretty prevalent in Cold War objective modes, then uh, the nail gun is a, is a, is a trophy system eating machine. So if you guys uh, found this video helpful, it's gonna help you unlock the nail gun faster. Go ahead and leave me a like. If you guys are tired of Cold War weapon unlock videos, you can leave me a dislike, but you know, I'm just I'm a completionist. I just wanna unlock these things, even though I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna get through and unlock everything. But as I stick this guy with a grenade, and I show you once again on the final screen here that this thing will burn up a trophy system. Subscribe for more videos for Battlefield 2042 coming up. I love you guys. I love you minions. I'll talk to you later.